All right, everyone, thank you for joining us again at the 2024 AHR Expo. So we're stopped by here to talk to Hitachi a little bit about things that are changing in the industry. Michael yeah. Littner, it's very nice to see you and meet Pleasure you today. To you, so we have a lot of transitions in our industry and we love to teach people what is changing so they can prepare, they can prepare their programs, they can start looking at new equipment for the programs and educational opportunities. And one of the things that I talk about a lot is we are moving into new technologies like air to water heat pump solutions. A lot of things we can do with this that we can't do with other products. So can you tell me a little bit about the Air H2O? Yeah, sure. So obviously one of the big trends right now that we keep hearing about is electrification and oh, heating, yeah. right? That's a Which lot. <laughs> is part of this bigger idea that we need to take all the carbon emissions out of our industry, out of our lives, yes. out of the way we're living. So how do we do that? <laughs> well, one of the key solutions that uh, has been developed is products like this one here. Okay. It's an air to water heat pump, as you said. What that means is uh, you are using the refrigerant cycle to heat domestic hot water sure provide domestic hot water to the house so for showers etc yeah uh, that hot water can then be used uh, in radiators if oh, you're going to use absolutely heating un solutions underfloor heating right yeah but in addition what makes this solution really cool and very flexible yeah is you can attach uh, fan coil to it. Okay, right? so like in this application, we're using our air to water heat pump. I could be supplying domestic hot water for my home. I could also be supplying domestic hot water to my ducted HVAC system. Yep, That's well intriguing. in fact you are providing heating yeah. and cooling, both, yeah. both options from one All unit. from one heat pump. For, yeah, space heating and space cooling. Yeah. And I see this as being a solution going forward. We have a lot of people in the Northeast that are wanting to move towards electrification, but are very realistic if they have an existing boiler system. Maybe they can't do that. Maybe they can't make the transitions the way some of the areas of the country do. So yeah. with solutions like this, we can actually now focus on, I can get you hot water that you can use, and we can do it with a high-performing heat pump. Yeah, and you say high-performing. One, yes. one of the key concerns, of course, is do these heat pumps work yes. when it's really cold? How right? well does it work? Right. So for this product here, yeah. uh, it will work down to, it will provide 123 degree Fahrenheit hot water uh -huh. uh, down to about minus 13 Fahrenheit. Really? That'll so, definitely take care of some of us so, up in the northwest, yeah. northeast, midwest, so where I'm at. It's really yeah. the only the very most extreme winter where it might be an issue. Sure. And you're still going to get hot water. Might, you might get warm water. Right, right hot exactly. Water, right? Maybe not quite the capacity, um, but still some there. Yeah, so we can't say this is the perfect solution for every home in the country. Right. But it's going to be a great solution for, I want to say, 98% of them, right, in terms of its temperature performance. Absolutely. Know? And this technology has moved on a lot in the last few oh, years. Oh, this is it, yeah. Um, you know, you see this uh, kind of technology in North Europe a lot, uh -huh. particularly in Scandinavia. So. Uh, Norway, for example, has a huge install They're base of uh, air-to-water heat pumps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're starting to see them move out into China and places like that as well. Right in Asia, where they have colder uh, regions. Yeah. So you see this as being a very developing market and product here in the United States. Yeah, I do. Too. I mean, what I want to say is it's a mature product actually. Yeah. This particular product mm -hmm. uh, we developed and we manufacture it in Europe. Uh huh. Uh, in our uh, plant in Barcelona. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's it's a mature product. We've been selling it for a number of years. Sure. So it's not like you, although air to water is very new in the States, mm -hmm. it's not like you're buying some kind of experiment here. Yeah, exactly. Right? This it, we've been, already uh, proven the technology. Tried and tested. <laughs> now we're just trying to adapt it here in the United States for our solutions. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing to note about this system, it's a uh, monoblock. Right. Meaning, the uh, the boiler to create the hot water is is all is self-contained in the outdoor unit, and all of the refrigerant is, and and it's R32, sure. which means lower GWP, of course. Yeah, it means it's going to be compliant with the regulations coming on A12. Indeed. But because no refrigerant enters the house, we don't have to worry about no any codes. kind of building codes. Right, a lot easier to install. Yeah. Uh, you basically plumb it up. You're not even going to handle the refrigerant as an installer. Indeed. Right. So uh, it's a really neat solution from an installation perspective as well. And for the homeowner, you know, they don't have to have another device in the house. Exactly. Right? So they're going to have their hot water tank like we have here. 
um, and this will be a hot water tank we sell as a kit with it. As an additional item with it, yep. so a storage tank. Yep. And yeah. it's a closed loop system, so continue to reheat the, the water and maintain it. Yeah. Um, but you've only got a, a, a water connection, right, rather than any refrigerant connection between these uh, devices. Okay, I love it. Michael, I sure appreciate your time today. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.